you know, you've got truck, you've got the authority, you've got the driver, you got that, that set up. Now you're running. Talk about when you're running a business, how you keep track of what's going on within the trucking operation, talking about how you're keeping track of basically, you know, the, the, the miles that you're running, the, you know, what the truck's doing, getting paid, like what systems are out there for people to use kind of setting you up here, but yeah, <laughs> it, well, bulk TMS yep. for starters and there's higher price ones, McLeod, Axon, um, for dry freight and van comparable to bulk TMS would be a send TMS and it links you to the, the boards and whatnot. Uh, so that's one way to track your mileage. The split side of that is you want to track your accounting. If you're not accounting, doing your accounting money in, money out, uh, balancing your checkbook every month, seeing what the company's holding in cash, what its net income is, you're probably going to be in trouble somewhere down the line because just checking your bank balance every day, oh, there's plenty of cash now without knowing what's outstanding in payments and receivables, you're you're driving in a foggy day in a in a mountain pass. Well, and I want to I want to camp out just a little bit there because I can you know, growing up and you know, my dad had a business and they he, you know, not to throw my dad under the bus, but he ran his business that way. He ran his business like how much cash he had in the bank, <laughs> you know, and not really knowing, you know, what the costs were or what when he was charging, we had a pallet mill. And um, love my father, but I just use that example. But I, I see it was one of the reasons why even getting into this business, I've seen so many owner operators really kind of running just off cash flow and not really understanding profits. Well, the thing to remember about your profit and loss, it's an opinion. Profit and loss is an opinion. Cash is a fact. What your net profit is, is important. But it's an opinion because there are certain expense factors you can move over to your balance sheet for later depreciation. You rebuild your engine in your truck, you spend forty or fifty thousand dollars swapping an engine. A trucking company already has enough expenses. So you, you want to capitalize that, you want to make it an asset and depreciate that over time to bring that expense back to you, you know, as needed, so to speak. So when you move those things over in the car, even though you paid cash for it, you declared it as an asset because technically it is an engine. Yeah. Is a is almost a separate component unto itself when you, you start thinking about how the truck is put together. Uh so the income statement is the first thing a business owner should be looking at every morning. Of course, all the information has to be there, it has to be kept up to date. The most important thing beyond income statements, balance sheets, all that accounting mumbo jumbo is reconciling or balancing your checkbook every month to understand what's out there, what your real balance is in cash. Because you can have a net loss of $100,000 in your cash be stable and still pay your bills. For a small business owner, the ability to pay your bills, to pay your drivers, to buy your fuel is as important, if not more so, than your net income number. And sometimes those will contradict. Wow. You can post a phenomenal yearly profit and have your cash flow just crazy. Uh, you feel like you're rolling pennies. And because you did have two trucks where the engine blew up or you decided to do an upgrade or... In some cases, the, the business owner, you know what, I need this boat for $80,000. <laughs> so I'm going to do an owner withdrawal or a shareholder dividend, whatever you want to call it. So that cash went out. For the small business, cash is everything. The ability to pay your bills. Because why does a business go out of business nine times out of ten? Ran out of money or are going to run out of money. Yeah. That's a... Uh... It makes perfect sense. Like, I, like it, you always think about profit, 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 like money making, but it's like it, but the, the cash is the king there. The, I mean, the, that's what, that's the strength of the business. But that being said, the profitability of your operation is very important. You know, yeah, because if you're not making profit down the road, it's going to catch up. It's going to catch up. Yeah. And 
So and that gets into operating ratios, and everybody has a different metric for measuring that. And I say it's just the, the direct cost to move that truck down the road, fuel, driver. You want to throw tolls, and you can throw everything on your on your income statement, every expense category to operate that truck to get a true operating ratio. If it gets much above 90%, you're going to start rolling backwards in cash because that means there's other things too. Your office overhead, you don't want that more than seven. To, depends on how small or how big the company is. You don't want that much more than seven or 8% of your total gross input. Uh, so for every dollar that truck makes, it's probably going to consume 80 to 85 cents under optimum conditions. And I'll even focus that down more. Even in today's price structure, for an outfit, especially when it stays local within 150 miles, you want your day to be between $800 and $1,200 per truck. You want to keep your fuel consumption under 25%, so 200 to, what, $300 of that $1,200. If you can keep your fuel cost just that, below the 25% mark, you're doing something. Interesting. Yeah, I, I think about it just, and we're going to get back to ERPs because that's what stemmed from this conversation is just is making sure that you have a tool or system that you're managing it. You're not just, you know, solely looking at the checkbook. You're balancing your checkbook, but you're knowing where these, where these costs are coming from or where, you know. If you're really savvy, you can do it on spreadsheets. Yep. The problem about spreadsheets are unless you really know all the V lookup tools, and I don't. It's not automated. You're doing everything manual transfer. If you if you yep. manually transfer money from from one account to the other, you're having to manually move that. If for a small business under ten trucks, I'd recommend QuickBooks Online. And I say online over desktop because desktop is going by the wayside. QuickBooks is gradually making that more expensive and phasing it out simply because it's an SQL database and the people that know those best or like me and they're getting in the uh the uh the dinosaur stage and they don't <laughs> want to train people in old technology they want to go to the new you know web-based technologies the java based the ai and that's where quickbooks online eventually it's going to become even more intuitive than it is now because right now it's clunky you don't want to use the rules in the system unless you set hard parameters otherwise it'll you set one rule with loose parameters and all sort of everything that looks like that in one expense category or one income category. So yeah, just to, to, to kind of finalize that, you know, make sure that you have a system. I mean, it can be started off as a spreadsheet, um, but using some kind of management accounting system, TMS transportation management system is what it stands for. Um, there are a lot of them out there. There are some that are, are bare bone beginners, Bulk TMS is the one that we provide through bulk loads that's, that's connected and offers all of that capability and functional, uh, functionality. 